What are quantum computers? Quantum computers are computers that use quantum phenomena such as superposition to perform computation. So instead of using the conventional binary codes of like ones and zeros in computing today, quantum computers use qubits to represent information. Qubits actually include ones and zeros, but they also include a superposition state from the ones and zeros, so it gives it more room to work. And what it basically means in a simple way is that they have an unlimited amount of resources when it comes to quantum computers. So if qubits are the only variable, you know, in the difference between a regular computer and a quantum computer, we have to understand what they are, right? These qubits have the capabilities to solve interfactorization that underlines the encryption of cryptographic technology. And qubits can actually solve this cryptographic technology or the, the same technology under blockchain technologies way faster than standard computers. So instead of taking millions of years, to crack a cipher, you can go and do the same thing you know, that a reg regular computer can do in years in a couple of hours. And believe it or not, there's been a lot of claims that people have had quantum computers. The first claim was back in 2019 when somebody came out with an article saying, can Google break Bitcoin? This article was by Billy Brambruff on October 2nd, 2019. And he basically goes on to say that Google claims to have built a quantum computer and claims to have quantum supremacy. So basically they have like kind of like all the control over quantum computers. To show the power of the computer, they actually did some calculations that on a regular computer should take about 10,000 years. They did it in 200 seconds with the same, you know, quantum computers. But the question remains, can it take down Bitcoin? It can, you know, solve those easy computations, but can it actually take down Bitcoin, right? The underlying encryption technology, can it break that? Could it solve classical equations quickly enough to crack Bitcoin in the encryption of the internet? So this is a quote from another article from the chief executive officer of Crypto Compare. He basically said cryptocurrencies can be updated with quantum resistant tech. And this is very true, right? So even if it could crack it, there is cryptocurrencies that have quantum resistance. He goes on to say that this is just a continuation of the age old arms race between the cracker and the encipher. So you don't really have to worry. Cryptocurrencies have been updated in quantum resistance, especially with Ethereum 2.0. Currently they're working on quantum resistant technology for the platform. Now let's talk about the supercomputer because I think it's important, right? The Google supercomputer. At the time they only had about 53 qubits at the time that I'm writing this video. And to actually, you know, crack Bitcoin, you would need about 1500 qubits. Maybe there's ways of solving this issue, but right now, you know, Bitcoin cannot be cracked with 53 qubits. <laughs> 